Hey guys, welcome to Melbourne, Australia. My name is Joe Allen, and together with Ellie, we're going to be taking some shots around the CBD, which is the center of the city if you're new to this kind of lingo. And uh, we've only been here for a couple of months, so we haven't really explored too much. Um, just kind of been working and stuff. So we're going to see what it's got to offer. So compared to my recent travel videos, this one's going to be a dedicated photography video. So the general agenda for today is to uh, check out some of the laneways in Melbourne. That's kind of what it's famous for, all these little roads and side streets. So we're just kind of aimlessly walking around and seeing what shots we can find. Alright, so this is uh, the first time this has properly happened. Um, I've met a viewer. This is Mitch, and you're shooting with the Sony... The Lover Sony. A7R2? Yes. Yeah. And what lens you got on there? 2470 uh, F4. Nice. Pretty good. Okay, well, thank good to meet you. And uh, thanks for the tips. I'll uh, check out those areas. Alright, thanks. That was nice meeting people. Um, we've got quite a sizable little community here on this channel now. Uh, there's over 20,000 of you, which is a pretty big deal for me. And uh, it's just so nice to meet you guys in person. So if you ever do see me around, say hi! It's nice! Hi! <laughs> so the lighting's not really been that flattering today really. So kind of just waiting it out for the golden hour which should be in maybe like half an hour or so. So there's an app that I've been using for a while now called Ryzen, and that allows you to just kind of spin around the time and see where golden hour is and where twilight hour is. It's really useful, and then when you see it based on your location, it will send you a push notification to say that it's coming up. So a handy feature about that app is that you can either base it on your current location or you can set a custom location anywhere in the world for any date in the year. You can see when and where the golden hour is and the sunset. It's pretty useful. So the lighting is starting to look slightly better. Um, I still don't think we've really been to any inspiring places, so we're maybe going to get a few more shots. We've come down to the riverside now and hopefully there's some good shots here, um, but otherwise not sure. Lights just really fading between the buildings, like mm. quickly disappearing. Okay, good shot. Maybe. So I thought I'd better just run you through the settings that I'm using on my camera. Uh, so today I've been shooting with the Canon 7D Mark II with the 24 70 2.8L and I've mostly just been on aperture priority just because the lighting is just changing quite frequently and all of the settings and everything just kind of need to adjust with almost every shot. So I'm using aperture priority uh, ranging between f3.5 and I think I'm on f9 for now. Um, and now I'm just using the autofocus lock and the auto exposure lock uh, on the sky or on various objects just so that I can compose my shots and get the lighting correct for it. And then I'm generally just shooting at ISO of 640 um, today which kind of covers me for pretty much all events uh, for lighting. So the sun is finally setting and we've got a nice pink sky so we're going to go down right to the water side hopefully get some good shots there. I think this might be the day's composition. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got any other shots anywhere else but I don't know, we'll see how it goes when we look at them later. It's always the way with these kind of days. You can walk around feeling a little bit uninspired and then out of nowhere you get a shot that just appears and I can completely change the landscape of everything. Pardon the pun.
I think we're going to call it a day here. Um, I'm glad we've stayed out and carried on getting shots because you never know when something's going to come up. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video then give it a like and share it among your friends if you did. And uh, one thing you may have noticed in the end of that is I'm actually using a new bag now. This is the Lopro uh, Pro Tactic 450. Uh, I'm kind of just testing it out for the moment and uh, seeing if it was worth the purchase. So there may be a video on that. But in the meantime, uh, subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to stay up to date with future photography videos and the rest of Australia. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll see you later. Bye! Okay, just for the record, Macau is extremely photogenic. Honestly, every street we've turned, I think I've already said this, but every street we've turned we've taken so many photos. Um, so Instagram's gonna go wild, I think.